So Taco Bell's getting into the swing of things by celebrating the 20th anniversary of Baja Blast the only way they know how, and that's by dropping a limited time only version of it that you can only get through their mobile app starting September 3rd. That's right everyone, so sit tight because of course I've got it up next for you. It's the all new Mountain Dew Baja Blast Gelato. As always, I'm Ian K, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. All right, now truth be told, this is a little on the small side, but then again, I guess a controlled portion can be a good thing, right, considering what it is. But at the same time, I am digging the packaging this comes in, and I gotta say, this really does look pretty cool with the official branding on this one. Let me break it on down for you fully before we get right into it. All right, so here we go with the Mountain Dew Baja Blast Gelato, an exclusive limited time only promo available through their mobile app starting September 3rd while supplies last. And as you can see, guys, again, a very small package with this one, but at the same time, it's what's on the inside that counts. And in this case, we have a very nice little combination of goodness here, starting off with the spoon itself, which is actually hiding underneath the lid here, guys. This is actually very cool in terms of packaging. What you're going to be able to dive into with it is what you see in front of you, a nice little combination of classic Baja Blast flavors in gelato form. So think of it as a cross between ice cream and frozen yogurt, something smooth, something rich, and of course it's gonna have that reminiscent flavor, I'm thinking, of the classic Baja Blast drink, celebrating 20 years in existence over here at Taco Bell especially. A beautiful thing indeed. So let's not waste any more time on this one, let's get into it. It's melting after all. This is the Mountain Dew Baja Blast gelato here at Taco Bell. Let's peep out this flavor. So yeah, nice little creamy situation with this one, guys. And again, a little on the small side for $3.99, but at the same time, like I said, portion control may be a good thing with this. And if anything, the appearance-wise, it does look like Mountain Dew Baja Blast naturally with the colors. So I'm really digging the overall spoon here. I've given this a chance to kind of thaw out just a little bit as well, so it's a little bit easier to get into. And as you can see, very, very fun looking. And of course, with the classic purple colors right over there too, with the new version of Taco Bell with their signage here. So let's peep this out, guys. It's the Mountain Dew Baja Blast Gelato, celebrating the anniversary, or shall I say, the Baja-versary for 20 years over here at Taco Bell. Let's peep this out. Yeah, that's pretty refreshing. Definitely the flavors of Baja Blast there, that is pretty nice. Now I'm really wishing just after that first little scoop that I've got a bigger container of this because this is actually really good. Mmm. One serving on this one, 70 calories with this here. The sugar, dare I say it, let's see here. Total carb is 14. All right, added sugar is 27 here. Total sugar is 14. Uh, 13 including added sugars on top of that. So this is actually a little bit on the high side, but still, very refreshing, and as you can see, very, very authentic in the appearance here, and of course with this as well too. So, celebrating the Baja-versary of Baja Blast here at Taco Bell. It's pretty nice. Mmm. Yeah, this is not going to last long in their app. It's the only way to get it beginning September 3rd. By the time you guys see this, it may actually be September 3rd actually when I launch this here, but still very, very tasty. Mmm. Wow. Smooth, rich, creamy. Gotta say, pretty nice. So out of all the versions of Baja Blast, and they have different ones naturally that they do here, of course the classic, um, in terms of the frozen, the regular drink, what version of Baja Blast do you like to get over here at Taco Bell? Is it the drink by itself? Is it the diet version? Or the zero, I should say? Or the frozen? Or just the straight regular version of it there? Or actually, if this, if you've given it a try already, do you prefer this version with the gelato? This is pretty nice. Mmm. Honestly, I think this is an idea that should have got, actually come up a long time ago. Why don't they have just like regular ice cream type of things at Taco Bell uh, for a dessert situation? This completely fits the mold. This should actually be on the menu permanently for what it is and you can only get it here. So hopefully if this does really well, it will be available. I guess pretty much all the time. I think it should. It's pretty tasty. Mmm. The nice flavors, the tropical edge that I'm getting with this one. And actually, another question for you. What type of flavors do you taste in Baja Blast? Because it's got like a tropical vibe. Do you taste pineapple? Do you taste like strawberry, cherry, a combination of the two maybe? What is it that makes this the flavor that it is down below there? I'm kind of curious to know. Obviously, Mountain Dew, being what it is, is always a great flavor. But I got to say, guys, this is really fun to eat. And I love the little the makeshift spoon or this little tab that they have here. And the way it's packaged, it's pretty easy to get. There's no way you cannot get something to go into this. So as they're giving these out, 
you don't have to worry about that. It's just underneath the top of the lid. So a very lovely situation with this. Let's go for just a couple more on it. As you can see, smooth, rich, creamy. I would recommend letting this sit out for just a little bit because these are pretty much rock hard when they give them to you there. So very, very nice in terms of the, uh, the overall quality and it's smooth, rich, and of course the creamy texture, kind of like ice cream, kind of like, you know, regular soft serve, like frozen yogurt a little bit, but really, really fun on this one, guys. Very, very fun. So let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap up this review with the rating coming up next, but a lovely situation of goodness. And I gotta say again, this is very fun to eat right now. Even though it's kind of early when I'm having it, it's definitely a banging situation. Let's go for one more bite and we'll wrap this one up. Hang on. Mmm. Well, if you've made it this far into the review, I have no doubt you're going to be giving this one a shot. And I'd recommend that you do so ASAP because as of September 3rd, available exclusively in their app. After that, I'm not sure how much longer it's going to last from the 3rd because honestly, I think this is going to go pretty quickly. So give this a shot. I'd recommend it. I love the appearance of it. It's definitely refreshing and it gives you the essence of Baja Blast. It really is a very tasty situation over here at Taco Bell for this one. Definitely a fun little treat with that familiar Baja Blast flavor. Well, as I'm sure plenty of you Baja Blast heads know, there's really no substitute for the original drink over here at Taco Bell. And considering how long it's been around, 20 plus years at this point, this is an easy add-on to the menu as a permanent option as far as I'm concerned. And I really hope that they do that because this gelato is pretty tasty. So overall, I'm going to have to give the Mountain Dew Baja Blast gelato here at Taco Bell a pretty rockin' 9 out of 10. Guys, it delivered in flavor, it delivered in appearance, and even though the overall size is a little on the small side for what you're getting here, naturally it is a little bit of a taste. It's a little bit more of a tease if you want my honest opinion. At the same time what you're getting are those classic flavors in gelato form and I have to say it works extremely well so the familiar flavor the creamy texture it's fun and it's definitely something to round out summertime over here at Taco Bell I would easily recommend giving this one a shot but don't sleep on it because as of September 3rd it's while supplies last and I'd recommend you get your butt down to Taco Bell to give it a shot and I'd venture to guess you're most definitely going to if you haven't already all right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. Confirm that for me. Let me know if you've given this one a shot through the mobile app. And if you did, what did you think of the overall flavor? Was it worth the price point considering the size of it? And what did you think of the overall presentation? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey guys, I'd like to take a quick moment to thank all of our YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Guys, thank you so very much for your monthly contribution to the channel. It's because of your direct support that the channel continues to grow, and you really do help me to keep delivering the content that you want to see. I couldn't do it without you, and I seriously appreciate the love and support. Thanks again for all you do, and for being such a big part of our positive community here on the platform. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.